tire, go! go. Come on! Bravo, tire. Tire. Okay, now we need to... Ready? Ready? Go, we! Go, go. Go! Tire, go! Come on! Come on! Go, tire, go! Back, come on! Come on! Lindhurst, one of the finest examples of 19th century Gothic revival architecture in America, is no stranger to dog shows. For three decades, local kennel clubs hosted dog shows on these park-like landscaped grounds. We are honored to hold Westminster this year in particular because it's allowed us to keep our tradition alive as the second oldest continuously held sporting event in America. I'm gonna be in the in a minute. Yeah. Hey, we gotta lower that yeah. tire. Have a, that <laughs> would be pretty exceptional. The Lyndhurst Estate is our location this year for the 145th annual Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show presented by Purina Pro Plan. And, you know, we're really excited to even have the show. Of course, after a year of COVID, everything's shifted and changed. And, of course, we had to postpone the show, but we wanted to make it as safe as possible for the exhibitors and the judges and everyone involved. And so we postponed the show and made it an outdoor event. And Lyndhurst has such a history with Westminster that it was the perfect location. Let's go, 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 go. The senior citizen. There you go. Right today, are you? Sit. We have four newly eligible breeds uh, this year at Westminster, and and they're in four different groups, which is kind of fun. A little something for everyone. So you have the Dogo Argentina, Argentino, excuse me, which is joining the working group. And if you once you see the dog, you'll see it's a working dog. It's very muscular and athletic, all white uh, from Argentina. They're originally bred to hunt very dangerous games. So you need that courageous, you know, that courageous temperament, but they can be wonderful family pets if they're socialized and trained early. The Dogo Argentino, developed in, in Argentina's Cordoba province in the 1920s, was bred to find, chase, and catch dangerous games such as wild boar and puma and other destructive predators. Today we have Tino, who's only seven months. This is a baby. He's doing great. The Dogo Argentino joins the working group. We also have the Beaver Terrier joining this year, which is in the toy group. It has Terrier, but it's a toy. And it's kind of similar in shape to a Yorkshire Terrier, but it's a very di different breed. It is separate and distinct, but they have a beautiful long coat and a wonderful temperament, really upbeat and fun. The Beaver Terrier is an elegant long-haired dog with breed signature ponytail. We also have the Barbet, which is actually a very old breed. Um, that's the archetype of many of the French water dogs. It has a curly coat. It's known for its beard, which Barb in Barbet is beard. A rustic breed with roots as far back as the 16th century. This medium-sized dog locates, flushes, and retrieves birds. The Barbet will join the sporting group 2021. This is a black and white, obviously. They also come in a lot of uh, browns and reds, rich colors. The last one is the Belgian Lacanois, which is joining the herding group. And this is actually the fourth of four Belgian herding breeds. This is the rarest of the four native Belgian breeds, the Belgian Lacanois. Today we have Boots joining us. This breed is an affectionate, alert, and intelligent dog bred to herd and guard flocks and fields. Similar to the Malinois, Belgian Sheepdog, and Belgian Chervurin, the sturdy dog's main difference besides region of origin is its rough, coarse coat with a tousled look. The Belgian Lacanois is joining the herding group. Oh. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Okay. Good 
The Breed Club then is at the protector of the welfare of that breed. Okay. You guys are doing great, thank you. Good job. Tony, you're the dog with this. Again, these are the breeds representing some of the breeds that the Gould family bred here at the Lynnhurst Estate. Thank you for joining us today.